Silicon Valley's most watched humanoid robotics firm is back, with its most advanced fake human yet. Backed by billions, the aspiring tech giant is racing to put 100,000 robots into homes and workplaces by the time the next U.S. president is sworn in. Launched just three years ago, Figure is rushing into the mainstream alongside Western rivals, like Tesla and One X Technologies, as its humanoid revolution becomes a political flashpoint. And what will these robots do? Well, obviously, they will replace the men and women working in our factories, warehouses, and in restaurants and in other areas. Amid an intense technological arms race with China, Figure's home state's new artificial intelligence regulations could throw hurdles in its way before a single sale is made. Still, Figure exudes confidence under the leadership of a founder, who openly says he's aiming to build the biggest company the world has ever seen. After months of anticipation, the well-backed startup Figure just unveiled its most advanced humanoid robot yet, the Figure 3. The robotics firm launched the third-generation humanoid with a six-minute video showing it take on domestic, service, and logistics tasks. According to Figure, all of the actions in the footage are 100% autonomous, not teleoperated. Figure is pushing its humanoids onto humanity after recently securing a billion dollars in a Series C fundraising round. Valued at a staggering $39 billion, the company is still aggressively raising funds. The founder recently posted a job listing for a so-called head of capital formation to lead upcoming drives. The listing calls for a dealmaker who can independently source, structure, and close investments. Figure is offering a base salary between $350,000 and $650,000. The robotics firm emerged from stealth in early 2023 with conceptual renders and early motion tests of its first prototype, the Figure One. The humanoid robotics race was picking up steam at the time, but was nowhere near as competitive as today. Tesla had shown Optimus walking independently in late 2022, but was still very clearly a prototype. The Chinese firm Unitree Robotics revealed its first humanoid robot, the H1, in December 2022. The fully electric humanoid impressed with its balance, running, and acrobatic capabilities, but it still lacked the perception and dexterous manipulation needed for practical deployment. The original Hydraulic Atlas by Boston Dynamics was still going viral with lab demos, but nowhere near commercial viability. It had about a year left in the spotlight before the leading Massachusetts robotics firm pivoted toward a fully electric design. Oregon-based Agility Robotics was the most commercially mature humanoid player at the time. Its flagship humanoid, Digit, was already being piloted with Amazon for warehouse logistics. Figure introduced its second-generation robot, the Figure 2, a little over a year ago. Earlier this year, Figure introduced its self-developed Helix Vision Language action model as it severed ties with OpenAI. The company said its proprietary model is built specifically to give humanoid robots reasoning skills that could not be unlocked with large language models like ChatGPT. In the lead-up to the third-gen bot's launch, the founder made bold claims calling the autonomous humanoid a game-changer. According to Adcock, Figure's second-generation robots have been working 10-hour shifts every day for five months straight at the BMW Spartanburg plant in South Carolina. At the luxury automaker's largest factory by volume, the robots are reportedly working on an X3 body shop production line. They're doing extremely tedious work, picking up metal parts and loading them onto a fixture to prepare them for welding. Figure's robots are also reportedly working for an unnamed logistics company. Figure says its new humanoid features a ground-up redesign built around the Helix model. Its marketing video emphasizes household applications, introducing the new flagship robot at a luxurious home in California, quite possibly owned by Figure's billionaire founder. Standing 168 centimeters, or 5 feet 6 inches, the Figure 3 is said to be 9% lighter than its predecessor at 60 kilos or 132 pounds. Its payload capacity is reported at 20 kilos or 44 pounds, about the weight of a packed suitcase, a small microwave oven, or a medium-sized dog. 
The figure 3 offers a runtime of 5 hours per charge and supports inductive wireless charging. The robot sensors and dexterous hand were rebuilt to feed Helix with dense, low latency data. Figure says its upgraded actuators and compliant robotic hands double its speed and can handle everything from sheet metal to soft packaging. Its cameras now deliver double the frame rate, a quarter of the latency, and a 60% wider view. Improved depth perception means sharper vision in cluttered spaces. Each hand now contains palm cameras for close range feedback and cutting edge tactile sensors. Their fingertips can now sense pressure as light as three grams, which is delicate enough to feel a paperclip. Figure says Helix can detect an object slipping before it falls and make real-time adjustments. The robot is wrapped in soft, woven textile coverings designed to protect users and give it a more approachable appearance. According to Figure, its soft goods are washable, swappable, and customizable. Hello. Hello, Andrea. Here is your key. You'll be in room 23. Its audio system is also brand new, with a speaker twice the size and four times more powerful than the Figure 2s, and a repositioned microphone for clearer conversations. The aesthetics immediately drew comparisons to 1X Tech's Neo Gamma humanoid robot introduced earlier in 2025. 1X founder Bernd Bornick even called it out on social media, saying imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. The Neo Humanoid, which has started limited testing in real homes, is a few centimeters shorter than the figure 3 at 165 centimeters or 5 feet 4 inches. It's more than 40% lighter at just 35 kilos or 77 pounds and has a similar reported payload capacity around 20 kilos or 44 pounds. In the past, figure's founder has been critical of 1X, which was founded in Norway in 2014 and is now headquartered in Palo Alto. When 1X announced Neo Gamma earlier this year, Adcock refused to feature it in his weekly AI and robotics roundup on X and Threads. Without naming 1X, he strongly implied the competitor passed off teleoperated activities in its marketing video as autonomous. The Neo Gamma's launch video did not claim autonomy and Founder Bornick said at the time it was operating with a mix of teleoperation and AI. The feud intensified as Adcock announced he was accelerating his firm's push to get humanoids into homes. Figure initially focused on industrial applications, but the founders said the startup's Helix model gave him confidence that robots are ready for domestic settings as well. In a new interview with Time, Adcock acknowledged that the Figure 3 sometimes still fails at simple tasks, but said data will fix most of the issues. Figure recently announced a strategic partnership with Brookfield to tap into the major real estate firm's portfolio of more than 100,000 residential units and vast commercial, logistics, and office spaces. Under the agreement, Figure will collect egocentric human video data in real-world properties to build a massive, diverse dataset to feed its Helix brain. The companies say they're planning to also collaborate on infrastructure, training facilities, and eventual humanoid deployment into Brookfield's property holdings. Adcock's thinking connects how large language models evolve through scale, suggesting the same principle applies to robotics. He notes that Figure is spending heavily to record humans performing everyday chores so the machines can learn by imitation. In the interview, Adcock said Figure's goal is to get humanoid robots into homes worldwide. He described his long-term vision as a world where billions of humanoids work alongside people, handling physical labor as automation reshapes the economy. He suggested solutions, like universal basic income, could offset the negative effects of mass job losses. Figure is racing to deploy 100,000 autonomous humanoids within the next four years as the debate over AI and robotics quickly splits into two competing future visions. Tech leaders like Elon Musk have described a coming era of abundance, where human-like robots and artificial intelligence eliminate scarcity. In the other camp, Figures like U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders warned that the same technologies could trigger mass job losses and deepen inequality unless society reigns them in. The prevailing Republican view right now is that the U.S. must win the global technology arms race. President Trump is pretty much all in on AI and robotics. He signed executive orders removing barriers to deployment and accelerating data center and infrastructure build-outs. In California, 
sweeping new regulations could pose fresh hurdles for figure. Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom, seen as a potential 2028 presidential contender, recently signed the Transparency in Frontier Artificial Intelligence Act. It requires companies developing advanced models to disclose safety frameworks, report critical incidents, and publish risk mitigation plans. For figure, that likely means new layers of compliance before it can deploy robots at scale. Figure says its San Jose factory, Thubbot Q, can scale to 12,000 humanoids per year. It's unclear how many robots Figure has manufactured so far in 2025, but Adcock recently boasted his team produced its 100th battery. The Figure 3 rollout has some mixed messaging. In the computer-generated trailer, the Figure 3 robot's torso bears the phrase, designed in California. In a version on Figure's homepage, it reads, made in California. The difference between the words designed and made carries major weight in this context. Hey, Cali crew, ever spot a gadget that says designed in California and think it was built here too? Not so fast. When a product says designed in California, like Apple's iPhones and laptops, it implies its innovation, engineering, and aesthetics come from the US, but the actual manufacturing happens elsewhere. Made in California suggests that both the design and manufacturing take place locally under the same roof. Under the federal government's labeling rule, a product can only make the claim if virtually all of its components are made and assembled stateside, and California state law is even stricter. The fact that the figure robot isn't yet for sale does not exempt it. Figure said it redesigned nearly every part of its flagship humanoid for its third major iteration, which is specifically designed for high-rate manufacturing. Figure says it overhauled its supply chain to support mass production. It builds key components like actuators, batteries, sensors, structures, and electronics in-house for parts that can't be produced locally. The company says it's partnered with specialized suppliers that can meet strict quality standards and volume requirements. Despite its sizable war chest, Figure faces an uphill battle as it competes with established manufacturers like Tesla and Chinese firms like UB Tech Robotics. The Shenzhen-based company has recently closed some historic deals as its industrial humanoids gain market share in the global south. For more on the fascinating rise of UB Tech, check the related video.